Alright, club goers, welcome back. Let's continue exploring. See if we can't find anyone else. To try to try to get with. No. Party's in there, buddy. There's twins I gotta deal with. Try this one. My hand barely touches the counter before the bartender right in front of me. From here I can see that his uniform, with, while dapper, is clearly tailored for the club. His sleeveless vest and cuffed wrists are capped by a revealing tuxedo styled brief as well. Despite his state of near undress, he seems quite chipper and buff down the counter in front of me with a rag. Welcome to Amorous, hottest club in town. I'm Jax, I'll be your beverage artisan this evening. He looks at me for continuing. What can I do for you? <coughs> I like to order a drink. As I slid into one of the stools, he set a glass in front of me. I think I'd like a drink. What do you have in mind? Surprise me. After a moment's consideration, I said that if I was going to try something new tonight, I might as well be adventurous. I put the drink menu down, smiled at the bartender, and what surprised me? His smile lit up immediately, eyes twinkling with a little mischief leaning towards me, with written a con contemplatial tone. You're absolutely sure. I opened my mouth to speak. He leaned forward, pressed a finger against his Cheshire like grin. Nope, too late. Licking his wrists to settle his cuffs, he began his hands, slid beneath the bar, wrists over wrists, and in a single movement, oh, he drew out two bottles, flipping both upside down and forward, he poured a shot of each into a glass before me, flipping them over his fingers like an action movie pistol, setting them down on the bar, and releasing them. Next, his hips shifted as I noticed his tail wrapping around the neck of the third bottle, lifting it smoothly off the shelf behind him and letting it roll down full length of his tail with a small of his back. His right hand snagged the bottle by the neck, bringing it to the front. He gave it a quick shake with his wrists before flipping it over to his index finger and settling it down with him with the others. With another quick hip shift, his tail wrapped around the fourth bottle, launching it into the air. My eyes went wide almost completely through the arc. Caught the bottle by the neck, held it an inch or two above the glass, or given it two quick shakes. He tossed the bottle behind, back behind him with a grin as it sailed straight back towards his tip, tail tip, while it snuck around its bottle, shifted just enough you could see it. Lip. His expression went from joy to horror as it smashed to the floor behind him. Damn it, that's going to come out of my check. I'm doing for the drink, anyways. My hand went immediately to my wallet and I placed it down the bar, put it on my tab. Sure about that? That was a 45 bottle of booze. It's not like I'm going to lose my job over it. At least I hope I won't. He looked flustered for a second and composed himself. It was my bad really. Job hazard. I couldn't ask you to cover this. I smiled. It's a good thing you didn't then. I laid a 50 on the bar in front of him. You? Wait. What? You're serious? I don't. Congratulations. Students are in order. 
You actually got me to shut up for a second. I'm just completely blown away by this. It's not a big deal. You gave me a fantastic show. I mean, wow, I didn't ex you know people could do that kind of thing. You're not helping me with the whole looking professional thing here, you know? He grinned and put away the remaining bottles. Drinks on me. Totally. You've been too sweet of a customer to, change, to charge for one of my experiments. I'll get your change. You earned it. All of it. Fair and square. That was mind-blowing. You're unreasonably admirable. Is thanks enough. But I do think you forgot something. I furrowed a brow as I put my hands back on my wallet. He smiled and slid a slip of paper over to me. I think you'll know what to do with that. <laughs> as he moved to the next customer, I flipped over the paper to see a phone number with his name in an embroidered script. Blow it. Put the paper into my pocket. I'll be old call Jax after tonight to meet up again sometime. Alright, let's see if... I'm like, I'm happy with him for tonight. We're done. Hey bro, can I, bro, can I borrow you for a sec? What's up? Can we head home? I think I've had about enough all the fun I can I can have here. Do you mind if we go home? Uh -huh. Sure you want to go? I normally go all night, but I'm happy to go wherever you are. Just let me know when you're sure. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's late. I wouldn't mind calling it a night. Fair enough. I appreciate you coming tonight. You'll have to tell me all about it on the way home. It's rowdy in here. It was refreshing to step outside. The volunteer gave us a gentle wave, sharp in hand, as he addressed the next line. I felt a little bad for, for pressuring Kobe to leave earlier than he usually would have, but he was all smiles. He was just happy that I came, I suppose. He insisted on driving, drinking apparently put him off his game. With all the excitement, I barely recall what we talked about on the way home. It just flew by. It's funny, the trip to the club felt like a lifetime. I guess I was more nervous than I should have been. Best not to overthink. We passed out quickly when we got home, still riding the high of the evening. Oh my. Ugh. First time I've slept in late for reasons other than being aloof. Seems like Kobe is already up. Either that, or he just dropped me off and went back clubbing. The whole thing felt kind of surreal. I should check my phone to see if I ended up getting any new contacts, or if uh, that was just a one one of those weird dreams. Ooh. Ooh. My phone's buzzing. Let's see. Um. Contacts. Ooh. Let's call. That bartender from last night seemed like a really great guy. I think I'd like to get to know him better. <laughs> he's not picking up. Maybe he's busy. Hey there, this is Jack. If it's morning, I'm probably asleep, but if it's evening, I'm probably at what should be my favorite club. Either way, leave me a message and I'll get back to you. I'll leave a message. Hey there, it's Zane. Just giving you a call to see if you're still interested in meeting up sometime. I'll be by my phone for a while. If you call back, bye. I ended the call and hopefully he'd call back in the meantime I can get on with my morning routine. I wasn't I wasn't too sure whether to make plans, so so I got myself cleaned up, had breakfast, watched some TV, anything to dawdle the burn 
the early morning. It took me a moment before I noticed my phone buzzing and dancing on the nearby countertop. It snagged it, picked it up the call. Hello? I heard some groggy mumbling on the other end at first. It took a few moments before I could make out what it was being said. Yeah, who's this? I stifled a chuckle. Hey Jack, it's Zane from the club. There was a few loud noises at the end and for a second or two later he seemed considerably more awake. Crap. I mean, <laughs> hi. Sorry. The club wound up just exploding with people last night. I was taking orders until 3 in the morning and didn't get home till 4. It's nice to hear back from you. How was your night? Met a couple of other people there. Got to know them a bit better. Stayed out a little later than I'd expected. But it was a lot of fun. I guess I do need to get out more. Well, that's a good night. That's a good night out. You looked like you needed to meet some new people. Shake up your routine a little. Glad to know it worked well for you. Let's ask the gecko out. I didn't mean to wake you up. But I was wondering about something. Oh? What's on your mind? Well, I was wondering if you'd like to get together outside the club. We could chat without having to shout over the noise, and someone else could make our drinks. But where's the fun in that? Very few people have my particular set of skills. Very true. But I wasn't thinking of mixed drinks. It's early, you know, you sound groggy. Maybe you'd beat up for some coffee. My treat. I'll even pitch in, pitch in for a muffin. Muffin, eh? Tempting offer. Sure. Sure. I can use the pick. I can use a pick me up. Give me about an hour or two to get ready. I literally fell into bed when I got home. Sure. There's a coffee shop right near the club. Meet there in about an hour. I've been there a few times on my way home from work. I'll see you there. Click. Seems, you seemed a little hesitant. Maybe that's just jitters on my end. Still, it'd be nice to see me again if it's just for coffee. As I set the phone down on the counter, I hear a comically loud yawn behind me. Turn around, Kobe was standing there, beaming. Is that a date I hear so early? Did you meet someone last night? Not that it's any of your business, but maybe. Score! I'm happy for you, that's part of why I wanted you to come along to the club. Spend all your time just moping around the house, you needed to get out. I do feel better about it. I've gotten into a bit of a funk over what happened, it's good to have a real distraction for once. And that's why you should always listen to me. Now, who caught your eye? If you have to pry, I met a guy at the bar, we had a few drinks, we chatted, it was really nice. At the bar, huh? And who was that? Don't you have anything better to do than to bug me about my dating life? Nope. <laughs> if you must know, it was the bartender. Really fun guy once he opened up a little. Jax. You're going on a date with Jax. It's not a date. It's just coffee. Dude, I'm so jealous. He's such a cutie. That bow tie. Rawr, I didn't even know he swung that way. What? Swinging? You're, we're meeting for coffee. Besides, considering how much noise you are making when you got in, I think you managed pretty well by yourself. Oh, you know I met a few people, and we, I mean, he and I came back to test the couch springs. When did you finally stumble into the bedroom anyways? Not that I mind having some need a triple eyeful. Sure, two of them. Anyways, I need to get ready. I have a meeting in a half hour. Hope you don't mind. I grab a quick shower before I go. But you let me go first last time. Yes. But you don't have a... I mean someone waiting on you. I knew it. It was a date. <laughs> By all means, go first, you little Casanova you. But I want all the details when you get home. Have fun. He scampered off to the kitchen, barely keeping his grin in check 
as I slipped back up to our room, glancing at myself in the window with my bathrobe half open, I realized how haggard I looked for the moment. Nothing good. Shower and some TLC couldn't fix. The water felt great, washing away my exhaustion. Part of me cred. As I got out and toweled off, my mind kept wandering. I barely knew this guy. What if have expectations and he doesn't? Kobe didn't even know what sort of people he was interested in. He certainly seemed a little fling. Maybe there was something to that. Stopping out of my stupor for a moment, I checked the clock. Shit, it's nearly time. In my hurry, I made a wrong turn to get to the coffee shop and wound up taking longer than I thought. I, I pushed open the door and glanced around a few couples sitting at tables wondering to curse myself for missing him. I saw Jex at the counter near the window nursing a mug and looking outside. His colors were muted more naturally and his clothes were considerably less revealing. I placed my order, walked to the counter and walked over. Wow, that is one bored looking lizard. Hey there, sorry I'm late. He looked up of his and smiled. His shade jumped one brighter, though I'm not sure he noticed. I set my coffee down and placed a muffin between us. Sorry, it takes at least two of these to get me completely awake at this time of day. He motioned to his coffee before picking it up and bowing the rest, downing the rest. He set the cup down and smiled as he noticed the muffin. And he came through again. You, my chivalrous friend, are quite reliable. Are you alright? You looked a little distant and preoccupied. Something on your mind? I'm fine. Like I said, I need at least two cups before I'm, a ha I'm at least half the fun I normally am at the club. I cut the muffin in half and offered it to him. He smiled, took a piece off the top, absent, absently munching on it. He was very different from the person outside the club. I began to wonder if it was just me. Sure, you see him more like a little sleep deprived. Really? Really, it's nothing. I... You could just take a bit out of me working long nights like that. Being gone all the time, you know? Sorry, not trying to push, just getting engaged on you, though. Why would you keep working there if it keeps you up till late? It takes a lot out of me, but I wouldn't give it up for anything. I love the interaction, meeting new people, making smiles. He stammered for a moment at his slip up before letting out a resigned chuckle. Drinks, I mean, it's part of my job to be so energetic and friendly. Not to make out like I'm being a buzzkill, but I but I apologize in advance if I'm a little zombified this morning. It's hard to be high energy very every minute of every day. Oh I oh well I I'm not completely there yet, so I don't really understand what he means. Hey, I've had days where I come home and immediately pass out on the couch. Though I guess that's a little more depressing when, when I'm not coming back from a party or work, just killing time around the house. Still, that's why we invented coffee and muffins. Take the edge off of our worst days. True, but we're in a coffee shop. Being social, it's not exactly the worst. I should probably have another cup before getting myself together. He waved down a waiter, heading around with a pot, and got a refill. After a sip or two, he looked up at me, smiling. So I'd like to know a little more about you. So I hear you have a thing for muffins. <laughs> Do you normally invite random people to eat them with you? Does it make it less awkward? You were the most interesting person there, and I thought I should get to know this guy better. Is that so strange? What do you think, Wes? If I said yes? Huh? Why would you say something like that? <laughs> because
because I'm a relatively attractive, scantily clad bartender. It's like open season on getting a piece of my tail. I enjoy the attention, but not the attention if you catch my meaning. I'm not sure I really do. You like being the center of attention, but not getting attention for it. Everyone wants to see what's under the uniform, but that's where it stops. I work in a room with, a, with hundreds of people on a regular basis, and sometimes it's like none of them actually want to get to know me. They just want to bang the bartender. I suppose that's why you threw me for a loop. You were nice, and you backed off when I asked you to. I can't believe that I mean the way you need drinks all night. The bartender just talking with you had me wanting to know you more. I'm surprised you don't have a million numbers every night. I do. It's just none of them really want to call the talk. So much as to call to see if I want to fool around. If you're looking, is that so bad? I know I wouldn't be too sad of having my pick of half the people I saw at the club. It's just not my scene. Too many wild oats sown when I was younger, I guess. We both settled in an awkward silence for a moment, just sipping our coffees, nibbling on our muffins. Perhaps, eventually, I had to speak up. Alright, everybody. This is where we are stopping for today. See y'all in the next pages. Ta-ta.